This video explains how to replace blank values in a pandas data frame by NAN using the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So in these lines of code, I'm creating a new data frame called data. And then I'm printing this data frame below the code box using the print function. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, a new data frame containing five rows and three columns x1, x2 and x3 has been created. You can also see that some of the values in this data frame are blanks. And you can also see that some of these values are single blank and other values contain multiple blanks. So let's assume that we want to replace all these blanks by NAN values. Then we can use the code that you can see in the third code box. So in the first line of this box, I'm using the copy function to create a copy of our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. And then in the next step, I'm using the replace function. And within the replace function, I'm specifying that I want to replace all cells that contain only blank values by NAN. So after running these lines of code, you can see that our data frame has been updated. And this time, all the blank cells are containing NAN values. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.